Cruise ships are large passenger ships used mainly for vacationing. Unlike ocean liners, which are used for transport, cruise ships typically embark on round-trip voyages to various ports of call, where passengers may go on tours known as shore excursions. Cruise ships are designed for the purpose of providing passengers with a holiday including accommodation and entertainment prior teasing onboard amenities and comfort. Cruise ships are beautiful creations, outside and inside with all their paraphernalia done to artistic perfection in an effort to woo guests. Millions of guests set sail on their dream vacations each year on these engineering and artistic marvels made to cater to their varying tastes, across different ages and nationalities. An average-sized cruise liner carries anywhere between 2,000 and 3,000 passengers. With these many guests on board, for several days and sometimes even months together, ever wondered how the freshwater requirement of so many people, crew included, are catered to on cruise ships? The average freshwater consumption on these ships can vary anywhere between 500 and 1,000 tons per day. It can be even higher on larger ships. A cruise ship is a luxury vessel that is used to take passengers on a pleasure voyage in a journey that is as much a part of the experience as the various destinations on the way. In contrast to an ocean liner that transports passengers from one point on the globe to the other often across the oceans, a cruise ship or a cruise liner as it is known by most takes the people on board to a round trip that is of varied duration, from a single day to possibly a week and culminates at the originating port. This is a very refreshing mode of enjoyment and recreation, which relaxes the mind and replenishes energies to a great extent. On cruise ships, fresh water is required for drinking, galleys, laundries, high-pressure washing and cleaning purposes, steam generation, distilled water, various heating and cooling systems within and outside the machinery spaces. Sprinkler and hypermist systems for firefighting and recreational purposes swimming pools and water slides. With this much consumption, it is imperative that cruise ships be equipped with freshwater production and storage facilities that match these requirements. The present-day form of cruising can be traced back to the beginning of the 20th century when transoceanic traveling was at its zenith. The only mode of transport was the ships so the different companies that were in this business offered the best services to compete in the market. These ocean liners with luxurious services offered what came to be known as line voyages, but because of the long journey, which at best would be no less than four days, there had to be huge storage for fuel and other necessities and that didn't leave much room for luxuries.